Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about large or open pores and you, how you can shrink them at home naturally. So I'm going to be showing you guys three home remedies that I love to use uh, for my nose particularly because that's where I've got my most um, visible pores. But a lot of people, you know, have them on their cheeks as well. Um, so these recipes are not only going to shrink your pores instantly, they're also going to make your skin very, very tight and clean looking. And they're going to visibly reduce the appearance of your pores. Um, so if you want to see my awesome home remedies, stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with the first mask we made. This is our egg white and lemon juice mask. You'll probably notice that after you put the lemon juice in, the egg whites, like the firminess goes a little bit down. But that's okay, there is still a little bit of firminess that we can use. So you're going to start off with clean skin. Um, I don't have any foundation or concealer on my skin at the moment. And you're just going to apply it everywhere. So I'm just going to apply this using my fingers. So that's the sort of thing that you want to be applying that foam. So I'm just going to apply this. So you want to apply this to anywhere where you've got the open pores or you can apply it all over your face. Other than tightening the pores, this will also give your skin a beautiful tight effect. So I've applied my mask all over my skin right now. Um, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to give it about 10 to 15 minutes to dry. And then I'll show you guys how it looks once. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. And as you can see, the mask is quite dry. Actually, I think it's completely dried. So you'll know it's dried when you can't really talk. Um, and it feels like your whole face is frozen. And all you're going to do is uh, wash it off with cold water. Don't wash this off with warm water. Make sure the water is really, really cold. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to wash my face with a bit of cold water. And then I'll show you guys the results. Alright guys, so I just washed my face with uh, a bit of cold water. I haven't moisturized my skin yet, but after you do wash your face with the cold water, make sure you moisturize your skin um, and you should be left with really tight, smooth and bright looking skin. I can already notice a difference with my nose because the majority of my open pores are around my nose area but for those who have open pores on their cheeks I'm sure you guys will notice like an instant effect after doing this mask because it's so tightening so I'm just going to show you guys my skin it's probably not too evident on the camera but there is definitely a difference um, because my skin feels so much more tighter and it looks a lot more brighter so now I'm moving on to my next recipe which is the Fuller's Earth Mud Mask. So if you want to see how to make that mask, stay tuned. Here we go.
Alright guys, so I just showed you guys how to make our second mask, which is this really amazing mud mask. So your finished product should be a really nice smooth paste, as this one right here. Now Fuller's Earth is also known as Multani Mitti. Um, it's very commonly used in like Pakistan or India, um, maybe even Bangladesh. I know it's very commonly used, um, especially around like wedding times because a lot of people mix this with like turmeric and apply it and make an uptan out of it. Um, so now this mask only has like the Multani Mitti or the Fuller's Earth, which is what it's also called. And it's got um, rose water. And this is going to be amazing for the skin because when it dries, not only does this absorb all that excess oil, it also tightens the skin again. Um, it's also great for um, sun damage if you've got blemishes as well. This is amazing for acne and also acne scars. It also helps reduce the acne scars. So I'm going to apply this with a brush today, but you can definitely apply it with your fingers. And we're going to let this dry for about 20 minutes because it takes about um, yeah, 20 minutes for it to fully dry. And I'll show you how to apply it. So again, we're starting off with clean skin. I just washed my skin and it's completely clean from the last facial I did. And I'm going to start by applying this mask. Alright, so it should look something like what my face looks like right now. And we're going to let this completely dry. Now, if your skin is a little bit more sensitive, um, don't let it completely dry when it's about half dried. Just wash, wash it off at that time because it can make the skin um, a little bit red if it's too tight. For me, I'm going to just leave it on until it's completely dried because my skin is quite used to this mask now. And I'm going to show you guys when it, um, how it looks when it's dried as well. So this is what it looks like right now. Okay guys, so my skin feels completely tight and my mask feels completely dried now. I know it's still a little bit um, like wet from here, but the majority of my pores are around my nose, so that's all good. Um, what I'm going to do is wash this mask off with cold water again, and I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so I just washed off my second mask. My skin feels really, really tight again. Um, I haven't moisturized because I'm going to be moving right on to my next remedy. But uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up onto my skin. So we have just finished making our last remedy which is a toner. Um, so this is an apple cider vinegar skin toner which looks like that. Now apple cider vinegar is so amazing not only for your body you know um, you guys already know that I use it like I use it every single day I drink it first thing in the morning as my uh, weight loss drink as my detox drink so not only is it amazing for your body it's also amazing for the skin. Um, and this apple cider vinegar works as a natural toner for your skin. Um, it not only tightens the skin and reduces the pore size if used on a daily basis, it also has antimicrobial properties and it's also an anti-inflammatory, um, which will also help reduce acne and breakouts. So it's going to help you reduce your pores and also acne. So how you're going to use this is you're going to just get your mixture um, so you guys know this is about half um, apple cider vinegar and almost half of the rose water. I'm going to grab a cotton and I'm going to soak my skin in this mixture. You're not going to let this dry. We're going to be washing this mixture off. So it's a bit different to your other toners. But you're just going to be applying it all over your clean skin. So you guys should be doing this. Um, you can do this every night. 
and I would recommend doing this right after you've cleansed so when your skin is really clean hopefully the rose water has covered up that acidic smell of the apple cider vinegar but this is what it should look on just wait five minutes and we're gonna wash it right off and I'll show you guys the amazing results okay guys so I've just washed my toner off and all I've done is moisturized with my skin glowing serum so what that is is this serum that I've got um, this is the second time I've made my serum in the same jar so it looks a bit similar to my other glow serum that I made ages ago for you guys um, and I'm not going to be applying any other moisturizer other than this one because it is quite hydrating and moisturizing to the skin so you can definitely use the glow serum or any moisturizer of your choice after doing these skin remedies for your open pores my glow serum shouldn't um, clog the pores anyways so it's definitely safe to use on your skin okay guys we are done with our home remedies I'm done with all those recipes I really hope you try one of them out at least yeah. um, thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel the subscription box is right below thank you so much for watching again bye